Unlike fighting on foot, landing melee hits while atop a horse in Kingdom Come Deliverance is not easy to do. It's one of the things Henry is capable of, but as far as I can tell, mounted warfare was not emphasized in the game. This is a real shame, considering that it's a great way of dishing out significant damage to opponents while keeping our characters safe. So in this video, we'll be paying close attention to this aspect of combat, with the goal of simplifying it, which would hopefully give us another skill we can use in battle. The first thing we need to be informed about are all of the weapon's attack range, which is similar to when using them on the ground. Long swords have the most reach, and maces have the least, while short swords and axes both lie somewhere in between. In this simple test, I used St. Michael's longsword to hit this landmark at its maximum range. I then switched over to a battle axe and hacked at the target from the same position. As you can see, we're not able to hit it from this distance, and the same result happened with the razor, which belongs in the short sword category. Afterwards, I moved a little bit closer, just enough for the same weapon to reach the target, but when I swapped it with the ceremonial mace, its limitation was clearly visible. Apart from weapon ranges, this same experiment also confirmed, as expected, that attacking from his right is better. We can see here that he's able to do slashes with ease, as opposed to the left's arching cut that has a considerable delay, because he raises his hand above his head before bringing the weapon down. So for simplicity's sake, we're just going to focus on striking from his right side. Using a longsword's reach as our reference, the hit zones are split into two sections, according to Henry's field of vision. It starts off in a line parallel to the middle of our horse's neck, and extends next to where our rider is sitting. Because we'll want to see where we are going, as well as our target during an encounter at all times, the idea here is to just concentrate on landing hits within the area in front of us. The shorter a weapon's reach, the narrower this field becomes, as represented here in different colors. It's the reason why I highly recommend using a longsword, because it's the easiest one to use. This is supported by the fact that our character will always strike with a wide sweeping motion at a low angle, regardless of where the camera is pointed. As long as Henry is looking in the general direction of his front right side, our attacks are guaranteed to land and we can just focus on timing them. As I've mentioned at the beginning of this video, mounted combat is not prioritized in KCD, so we'll just have to improvise, and thankfully, there are several inanimate objects in their world that can be used for such purposes. Apart from the landmark I used earlier, trees can also serve to help us in getting the timing down, as well as some unique targets like this wooden post found outside the west entrance of Sasau Monastery. But my most favorite ones that I've used quite a lot are scarecrows, which can be found all over the map within open fields, such as this one we'll be using, located east of Ratai. Before we begin, it's important to imagine a line at the center of the screen that's oriented towards the ground in front of us. This is our riding guide that should help us steer the horse where it should be as we approach a target. It's easy enough to visualize because of the alignment with our horse, but it's worth pointing out because the directional controls and where Henry is looking at are separate. So above everything else, getting comfortable with this is paramount. To start things off, we're going to try and hit the scarecrow from trotting speed. As we approach it, press and hold the attack button while directing Henry's field of view to his right side at a slightly low angle, so we can easily see what we're doing. We then align our imaginary riding guide to the target's immediate right, so that our horse will run past next to it. 
And when the Scarecrow is about to approach our hit zone we talked about earlier, release the swing. As we pass the target, we then give ourselves a large clearance to turn around for another go. That's all there is to it. We just have a couple of pointers you need to be aware of. First off, after drawing our weapon, it's a good habit to press the attack button once before actually using it. I'm not sure if there's a bug, but sometimes, Henry will not swing his weapon the first time after unsheathing it. Second, when he's looking in any direction while on the move, his view will automatically realign itself towards the front after a few seconds. This is great for when traveling, but not during combat, and there's no way to turn it off in the settings menu. So to prevent that from happening during a charge, simply nudge his head every two seconds or so. Once you're comfortable hitting the target at trotting speed, we can then move on to doing the same set of actions in a canter. The difficulty curve might seem daunting at first, but with practice, most of the actions we have to do will become automatic, and our attention will be mostly focused on timing our hits. If you've made it this far, we can now initialize the second half of the training. Most of the enemies we'll be dealing with will not simply stand around, so a crucial step is to practice on characters that will react similarly to bandits and humans, namely the town guards. Create a separate save file and start attacking them. You'll notice that there will be slight variations in the attack timings, depending on their actions. If one of them tries shooting at Henry with a bow, then the release time is very similar to the Scarecrow. If a guard runs towards Henry, you'll quickly realize that our weapon needs to be brought down much sooner, and the exact opposite must happen when another one tries to run away. From a practical standpoint, being able to hit enemies from canter speed using a longsword is good enough. We can already do substantial damage to a target, especially if we have the Knight's Perk activated and our blade is wiped with Bane Potion, for example. If you're having a hard time landing hits from the get-go, try using a slower horse, like Shemig, for example, which is the one I used to practice at the beginning. If you'd like to try the other weapon types, make sure to pack a lot of patience. From my experience, getting to land hits with an axe or a mace consistently is very difficult. The same thing happened when I tried connecting blows from a gallop. So for now, I settled with using a relatively fast horse and dealt with enemies at canter speed. I will leave it up to you on just how far you want to take this skill. But for now, let's take a look at a practical example. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 